welcome back to my channel. Today I have a monthly August message for all of the Sagittariuses out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every single Sagittarius out in the collective. Please take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I'm a psychic intuitive, spiritual coach, and I provide you with guidance, wisdom, and inspiration every week right here on this channel. Without further ado, let's get into your message, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, you know the drill. We're going to do a nine card draw. We will clarify our deck if we need to with the separate deck. So let's get shuffling. Angels, Archangels, Guides, Ascendant Masters, what information and what insight can you offer Sagittarius this month? What information and what insight can you offer Sagittarius this month? Thank you. Mm. What information and what insight can you offer Sagittarius this month? What information and what insight can you offer Sagittarius this month? Sagittarius, I feel like you are kind of stuck on your path. You don't know where you're going and you're not sure if you're moving in the right direction. Hmm. What information and what insight can you offer Sagittarius this month? What information and what insight? Thank you. What information and what ins Oop. what information and what insight can we offer Sagittarius this month? What information and what insight can we offer Sagittarius this month? What information and what insight can we offer Sagittarius this month? You got two queens on the board, Sagittarius. That means it's a good partnership. Two separate energies that will that work well together. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Sagittarius, um, I've gotten a pretty good look at this, so let's get right into it, shall we? All right, so Sagittarius, where you currently are this month, you are at the Three of Wands in reverse. So kind of what I'm feeling with this um, reverse, as I mentioned earlier, you're sort of feeling unsure. You're not sure if the path that you have chosen for yourself is the path. And um, you're unsure if you're going to even fulfill it, like if you're even going to get there, right? Um, I sort of feel like you've kind of given up. You've given up hope a little bit. Um, I'm going to draw a clarifier for this because I want to see what they have to say. So angels, archangels, guides, ascended masters, why is this three of wands in reverse here for Sagittarius? Why is this three of wands here in reverse for Sagittarius? Why is this three of wands in reverse here for Sagittarius? Why is this three of wands here in reverse for Sagittarius? Okay, we got two. Mm. Okay. All right, so we got the hangman with the two of cups in reverse. So this is what I feel this three of wands in reverse really represents for where you currently are, okay? So understand and note that this three of wands, remember what I said was that it's sort of, I sort of felt like you were unsure of your path. You were unsure if you were going to even get there. It's almost like you can't even see the horizon. You can't even um, imagine or see where that might be. And you just sort of feel lost would be the right word. You feel lost, okay? 
Now, the advice for you is the hangman with the two of cups. And this is what I want to point out. The hangman basically states that you need to surrender. Surrender to the process, surrender to the will of God, and allow yourself to be guided towards your destined path, right? With the two of cups in reverse, what I really feel is that um, you're resisting this, this, um, you're resisting your intuition and what spirit is really telling you, right? And I, I, I don't feel that, I don't feel that it's that you don't trust it. I, what I feel you're resisting is you're resisting the surrendering because you're wanting to be in control. You're wanting to be able to see it and have say over it, right? And, but we don't, what we, you need to understand here, Sagittarius, is that the hangman completely surrenders to the will of spirit and the cosmos. It's not about, it's really about learning to see things from a different perspective, recognizing that there is more than one way on how things are perceived, right? And it's also recognizing that, you know, while we might plan and organize how we want our lives to be and where we want to go, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's how it's going to go, right? And I feel that's why you feel sort of lost in this three of wands where you currently are because you can't see it. And because you can't see it, you're unsure. And that uncertainty is what is sort of put you in the space of confusion, right? It's put you in that space of, I'm just not sure if, if it's even um, right for me, right? So like, now you're like questioning everything. You're questioning whether you've made the right choice, whether you've, you're in the right uh, place. Um, you're questioning everything and questioning in its in and of itself um, doesn't align you. It, if anything, it just allows for more confusion. And that confusion is what really puts you at a place of no action, right? Because when the three of wands is upright, it's basically, it basically represents that every, all of your plans are, are turning into action, right? But here's what I want you to understand. I want you to understand that where you currently are, you need to really think about all of the thoughts and perceptions and beliefs that you currently have regarding um, all of the partnerships that you have in your life, right? Um, understand that you, you have to have a really good idea. I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted because my window is open and my neighbor is just, I don't know what he's doing, but anyway. Okay. You have to understand that with this three of, this three of wands, right? This represents about, um, you needing to, to trust, right? It's really about you learning to trust. Recognize that you don't have to prove anything to anyone, right? Recognize that as long as you can trust spirit and as long as you can surrender, right? Surrender to what spirit is guiding you. Allow yourself to work hand in hand with spirit. Recognize that they are not going to leave you, right? They're not going to abandon you or reject you. When you can do that, you will start to see progress. You will literally start to see progress and recognize that you have nothing to prove to anyone. There's nothing that needs to be proven. So that is where you currently are here, Sagittarius. Now, what is your theme this month? Your theme this month is the Queen of Swords, okay? And this Queen of Swords is really that mental clarity, right? It's that it's that point where you disconnect from your emotions and you listen to your intuition and you allow your intuition to sort of be that eagle eye view and sort of 
provide you with the answers that you seek, right? So that is your theme this month. Your theme this month is to really see things from a different perspective. Again, it's going to, I'm bringing up this hangman here that was, that came with your, where you currently are, right? It's about learning to see things from a different perspective. And the different perspective here is learning to rise above, learning to see things from an eagle eye view. It's almost like looking at the bigger picture here, recognizing that when we are on our path, when we are where we are, we only see from the perspective of where we are, right? But if we can connect to our intuition, if we can connect to our higher source, we could then see the bigger picture, right? Because they can see the bigger picture. They know what the end goal is, right? So that is your theme this month. Your theme is to really allow yourself to see things from another perspective. Now, what I really feel this can also represent is that maybe there's someone in your life, right? Um, that is an air sign that can truly help you connect, clear your thoughts, right? Help you clear your thoughts out and help you really provide you a different perspective, right? When you talk out certain things, maybe you need to rely on someone that you can talk to that they can sort of help clear out the mental confusion that you have going on, right? Because you're what you're really seeking for is clarity, right? Helping you clear out the thoughts so that you can tune into your intuition and detach from it emotionally. Now, what are you accomplishing this month? The Queen of Pentacles. This is a great energy, right? I love seeing this here for you, Sagittarius, because what this represents is that if you can truly clear out all of that mental clutter, all of the doubts, all of the perceptions, all of the you know beliefs that have clouded you and haven't provided you with the clarity that you've been seeking, that have sort of put you in this place of not trusting that you're on the right path or that you're not moving in the right direction, um, what you accomplish is you recognize that everything that you have is exactly what you need in the moment that you need it to be exactly where you are, right? So the Queen of Pentacles is, is a, a type of energy that is very loving, it is very nurturing, it is very giving, right? So maybe you have someone in your life here that truly represents that loving, nurturing, giving perspective that not only helps you see your worth and your value, but also helps you create and build and manifest that in your reality, right? So that that is what you are accomplishing this month. I really feel that that right now it might seem like it's very uncertain and it might feel like um, you're not really progressing or you're not really moving or you're not really doing anything. But that is not the case here, um, Sagittarius. You have you have an amazing support system that is going to provide you with not only the clarity, but the love and the nurturing support that you need in the physical to help you move further along in your journey. Okay. Now, what do you need to avoid this month? We have the Knight of Cups, right? And so what I really feel this represents is this represents being very emotional. Okay, this represents allowing your emotions to take control. This is what you need to avoid this month. You need to avoid um, any opportunity that presents itself to you that allows your emotions to completely take control. Remember, your theme is the Queen of Swords. And with this, with this theme, the Queen of Swords is detach emotionally and use your mental and intuitive intellect to guide you, right? So what you're needing to avoid is allowing your emotions to take control. That's what you need to avoid. Now, what do you need to embrace? I love this. You have temperance, right? What you're embracing here is the angelic guidance and wisdom that you receive from your angels and from spirit, from wherever you gain it from, right? That is what you need to embrace. You also need to embrace that you are a work in progress, right? What I love about temperance is it speaks about alchemy. It's taking one thing and changing it into another. You're, con you're changing it into different. So it's making water into wine, right? So it's changing water into wine. So the alchemy of that is 
the transformation from one thing, one form to another. Embrace that. And also, the one thing I keep hearing here is be patient. You don't plant a seed one day and it magically grows overnight, full bloom the next day. It takes time. What does it take? It takes time. It takes clarity. It takes nurturing. And it takes time for it to, to build and to, to grow into who it truly is, right? And that's what this is. You need to be more patient with yourself. Recognize that while you're on this path, while it might seem like you're not really moving, trust and know that you are. It's just, it just feels like you're not, okay? So that is what you need to embrace this month. Now, what is the obstacle you face? Um, and the obstacle that you face here is the Hierophant, right? And I really feel that the Hierophant here represents the old beliefs, the old traditions, the old um, patterns and behaviors that you yourself have learned through the years, right? And I really feel that this stems from learned behavior, right? So the learned behavior that we initially create for ourselves um, based off of certain experiences or situations that we encounter in life. And I really feel that the obstacle here is you learning a new way of doing things that you're having to really relearn not only your beliefs and your perceptions, but you're also having to learn a new way of being. And that can be very challenging. And it, and, and we naturally have that instinct where we want to gravitate to our old ways and our old patterns of how we used to be and, and who we were, right? And I feel that that's the obstacle. You're going to feel like, like a part of you is missing because you're releasing the old aspects of yourself as you transition from one phase of your life to another. Okay, so that is the obstacle that you face. Now, what is the support that you have this month? The support here is the tower, right? And what the support is in the tower is that there is light in the midst of darkness, right? Even though things might seem chaotic and it might seem like things are falling apart and nothing is foundational or stable anymore, you need to learn to see the light through the chaos. Understand that sometimes when things fall apart, they're meant to fall apart to build a better foundation. They're meant to fall apart because spirit knows best, right? It's often where spirit can see the bigger picture. And so they see that the path that you're on isn't fulfilling you. And so they allow it to crumble and fall because you're meant to have a better, sturdier, solid foundation. So your, your support here is seeing the light through the darkness. Now, what is your action this month? Now, we have the five of wands here. And a lot of times when people look at five of wands, they look at it as fighting. But I don't really look at it that way. What I'm seeing here is, is collaboration, change, right? Like, so you're having to change, right? So your obstacle is changing your old patterns, your own beliefs, your own behaviors, your old behaviors of how you used to do things, right? And because you're having to do that, you're having to learn. So this five of swords is really about working with others, training. It's about learning the new way of being and how it works for you, right? So a five really represents change, changing and learning and understanding what certain things mean and what they represent to you and how you build upon that, right? Because this is about them building. They're building something to help them achieve something, right? And you have to work with others, right? And this also means working with your spirit team, right? It means that you have to learn how to work with others and learn how to collaborate together so that you could build and, and, and rise to that higher aspect of who you are. Now, what is your advice and encouragement? You have the page of cups, okay? And what this really represents is that 
this page, the advice and the encouragement here represents that you are meant to learn how to love yourself in a way that is brand new. That's what this page of cups really represents, right? It represents a new energy, a new way of loving yourself that you are very unfamiliar with. And this is your advice and encouragement. That is why you are being led where you're being led. It is why you are where you are, because where it's leading you is a new way of loving yourself wholeheartedly and unconditionally. <clears throat> so Sagittarius, that is your message this month. Um, I am going to draw an additional card just so that I can see what additional advice and information spirit and the angels have for you. So angels, archangels, guides, ascendant masters, what additional information and insight do we have for Sagittarius this month? Okay, that came out right away. And we got, oh, I love this, create space. I absolutely love this. Now, Sagittarius, this is a 38, which represents an 11. And an 11 truly represents you and represents that you are connected to all that is. It's sort of like an awakening code. You are awakening to this higher aspect of who you are that is learning how to love yourself purely and unconditionally. So let's read what the book has to say about Create Space. All right, here we go. Create space. Make room for your dreams. Create a space for new desires by learning how to be happy now. We all want certain things in our life to change, and it is up to each of us to do something about it. If you apply action from a position of truly wanting change, you will create evidence of that desire as manifestations of change. Once you notice something you would like to change, take a breath and say thank you. Recognizing what you want to change brings you more clarity on what you would like to change it to. Your job is to create the space for your dreams and desires to fill. Do this and you will begin to receive direction and wisdom. Create this space by coming into balance, meditating, focusing on the moment, or thinking of a person, animal, place, or situation that makes you smile. Feel the smile stretch through your body and relax, knowing that all you desire is on its way. You have empowered your whole being because you don't need conditions to change to feel joyous in the present. You are bathing in unconditional love. Breathe it in and enjoy how good you feel. Sagittarius, this is a beautiful, profound message for you. I hope that you were able to gain lots of great, amazing information and golden nuggets this month. I know that it might feel like you are not in a very good place, but from where I sit and from what I see before me, the old part of you is changing into a newer version of yourself that you are very unfamiliar with. But I promise you that if you allow yourself to connect to your intuition and detach emotionally, you will be able to see miraculous miracles appear in your life. Thank you so much for joining me, Sagittarius, and I look forward to seeing you next month with your new message. Namaste, guys.